In this video, we're going to take a look at running Alteryx workflows and Alteryx analytic apps uh, within a Tableau dashboard. We can do that with um, Tableau's extension API. I demonstrated uh, this use case in the hackathon of the Tableau conference a few months ago in New Orleans. So what I'm going to show you is, uh, as, as we can see here, we have a Tableau dashboard. And this Tableau dashboard is connecting to a data source. And the data source um, is basically an Alteryx analytic app. So what we have here is a, um, a API connection to a weather API. And at the moment, it's looking at the weather forecast in London for the next five days. So what I want to do is, um, in this um, example, I'm going to use an extension where the user can input a city and then it can and then it updates um, this um, dashboard. So it's basically running the Alteryx workflow. So what you need, first of all, is an Alteryx designer license. And in that case, I've, uh, let me show you the Alteryx um, analytic app. So it's, um, it's a fairly basic analytic app. It's uh, querying a, um, an API. It's a weather API. Let me show you that one. So we're connecting to this Apixu. I'm not sure how you pronounce this. But it's a JSON-based API, uh, which returns um, some weather um, data for you, including forecast data. So uh, in this case, what we can do here in the um, analytic app is, as you can see, if you run this, you can key in a city, and then it will run this analytic app for you. Okay. So the output here, which is a, um, a SQL server, is uh, the connection in Tableau. Okay. So um, the next thing you need is an Alteryx server because this um, extension, uh, this Tableau extension, is using uh, the Alteryx Gallery API in order to run the uh, workflows and the um, analytic apps. So for that, we're going to um, just to quickly show you that this is actually, as you can see, weather API. It's um, published to our internal Alteryx Gallery. And now we're going to run this uh, in uh, Tableau. So uh, we're just first going to bring in an extension. So just going to connect. And it's, um, it's locally on my machine. And you can see it now pops up. Let me resize this. And we can then configure this. So if we configure it, we can see get this little pop-up menu. Um, in this case, I hard-coded in the... Um, our connection details to our information lab, Gal uh, Alteryx Gallery. Just, um, well, avoid you to see me key in some, some information. So I'm just gonna log in. And what it's then gonna give us is um, a whole list of analytic apps and workflows that are on our server. So in that case, I'm just going to scroll down to the weather API. And this is the analytic app that I just showed you in the browser. So if I click on the app interface, it then loads in the interface. And in this case, it's a very basic analytic app where I'm just going to key in a city. So imagine you're going to say, um, you're going to open up a new office, say you're going to Sydney, and you want to see what the weather forecast is going to be in the next five days. So you can key in the, the city. You can then run the analytic app. So now it's querying the Alteryx Gallery API. Then says that it completed successfully. Um, the data source hasn't actually updated, so I included the refresh data button here. So if you then hit the refresh button, what you'll see is that now you can then move this over. You can now see this is the weather forecast in Sydney. So we have the minimum and the maxi maximum temperature. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is just a tablet dashboard that I built really quickly. You can see that the data source updated just like a few seconds ago. And um, you can do this for... Um, uh, all of your analytic apps. So it's uh, not limited to this analytic app, which is just an example. So you can see you can just navigate to any other analytic app and um, then run for that one. So in that case, I could now run it for any other city if I want to go back to London, for example. Okay, so um, I will publish this um, extension. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have the um, Tableau UI. Um, I build an, my own UI around it. Um, also, it's not fully uh, complete yet. There's still some bugs in it. Um, I'm aware of those, but 
Um, I've had this extension on my um, hard drive for about six months now, and I thought it would be time to um, um, time to publish this. Um, so if anyone else wants to um, fix the bugs, help out, um, then I would then um, I would definitely uh, get in touch with me. Uh, I'll put this on GitHub and put the um, link to the video or link to the GitHub page um, in the YouTube page. Cool. Thank you for. Um, taking a look at this.